What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and today I just wanted to make this quick little public service announcement regarding pre-downloading and even being able to play Modern Warfare a few hours early. So if you have digitally bought Modern Warfare either on the Microsoft or PlayStation Store, then the game will be available for you to play on October the 24th at 9 p.m. Eastern or 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm gonna have the rest of the time conversions down below in the description for you guys. I know it's not a huge time difference, but still, so there is a couple of reasons why this is happening mainly I think it's because it won't stress out these servers as much which allows for a more um, spaced out downloads over the night leading up to the morning rather than unleashing the floodgates you know right off the bat where everyone will be downloading at the exact same time also I believe that this time gives everybody a fair chance to I guess play at the same exact time and uh, everybody else around the world will be able to you know download around the same time so uh, there's a couple of reasons why like I said this is happening and I'm all for it to be honest so yeah we are going to be able to play a few hours early again if you buy the game online if you get it at a retail store of course you got to wait in line and then wait for the midnight releases whatever so um, if you guys are up for that then go ahead but for me I think it's better to just get a digital copy online and then next up here as of today October the 16th you can preload Modern Warfare on the Xbox One but for this year it's going to work a little bit differently because because instead each part of the game is going to be split into different pack downloads so for the campaign there's going to be a pack one and a pack two and then for multiplayer and spec ops each is going to have their own individual download and the total file size comes in at 45 gigs and yeah if you bought the game online for the xbox one go ahead and install the game because you're going to have it all ready to go when the game fully releases or you can choose which pack you like to download in case you are low on space or maybe you find yourself not wanting to play the campaign when it comes out or maybe you think you're, you're not going to play the spec ops mode then you can select which downloads you want onto your console which again is another advantage of buying the game online rather than owning a physical copy for the playstation 4 and pc i'm fairly certain that they will be releasing their pre-downloads tomorrow or at least sometime by the end of the week either way plenty plenty of time for everything to be ready to go when the game fully releases now what i'm curious to know is when the pc preloading becomes available because is that going to allow data miners to access the files at all i'm not sure but definitely i do think by next week we may get some early footage of the game because every year there's always those people who get early copies and those should more than likely be coming in around next week however i do think infinity ward won't launch their servers until a few days before the 25th either way i think we are going to see some hidden secrets and parts of the game that we were not able to access during the modern warfare beta such as you know the supply drop system but infinity ward has said numerous times that they are going to be releasing information on the microtransaction system sometime soon and again i'll be interested to see if the data miners are able to find out anything when their preloading becomes available or if infinity ward was actually able to put some restrictions on what can be found within the game's code so there you guys have it please tell me that to bother this down in the comments thanks for watching love you all so so much till next time i'll see you later